two, one. Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome to another installment of the Snipecast. I'm your host, John Snipes Novak, and my co-host today, the dashing, mm. the jaunty, mm. the gleeful. Mm, dude, I do sing like the movie Glee. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's not a movie. <laughs> that's not a movie. <laughs> Nick's messing up all over the place oh, today. No, that's Nick crazy. connect everybody. Nick connect starting off strong today. Holy goodness, we got a lo- we got a jam packed episode. We got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna piss some people off today, and I can't wait. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about a game that uh, my buddy is helping design. Uh, for topic number one, topic number two, obviously the Super Bowl that happened on Sunday, and topic three, Tom Brady. Topic four for the day is Call of Duty because they released some good stuff this week. So we're look, trying. I put my iced out chain on my blue arm. That's a weird <laughs> flex, brother. It's the hand holding uh-huh. the earth. Oh, yeah. that's still a weird flex. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's got the universe in the palm of your hands. You know what I'm saying? I love that. I love that. I mean, yeah. the world, not really the universe. At this hey, point. dude, I'm I'm a like, flat earther. All right, all there is is Earth. We're the center of the universe. All right, let's. <laughs> Kidding. All right, John, get, right. Into the ga- get into the games you play. All right, what a solid segue. We're starting off great today. Well, first things first, I'm drinking some Timmy Holes out of my Fortnite cup again. Oh, Timmy Holes out of the Fortnite cup. Nice, brother. And then to embrace my motherness even more, of course. I went to Target this weekend. Oh, <laughs> John goes to the target, and there's I literally got... an aisle that you just called <laughs> Mom Drinks, and that's where John shops. So I got the Waterloo Sparkling Strawberry Water. <laughs> that's literally a road out here in the country of Ohio, John. I drive on it daily. You tell me I have to drink? Yep, dude. <laughs> Alrighty, that's my drinks of the week. I literally actually went on a hunt. Oh my goodness! I love how we're all candles. Creamy vanilla swirl. I just like I was. I have mine. Mine's almost done. I've had it since like the start of winter. Snowy. You no, know it's that time. I think it's that time. time. Wait, it's that time. Live on pod. We're lighting our candles. Yeah, Setting up the aroma. Boom! That's a lit candle. I don't know. Okay. There we go. I got this one, and I picked up an orange cream candle. Wow. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's one's in the kitchen. All right. Well, my games of the week is going to be short because uh, two of them we're talking about uh, in our topics list. So uh, to start with, Eggie's World, uh, which we'll be talking about today. That's, uh, the, that's the game that my buddy is uh, helping make. I'm extremely excited to talk about it. We had some fun with that this week. Uh, and then Valorant, of course. Uh, I started playing that even more uh, than I already was, and uh, not only am I full-fledged addicted to it, I'm getting extremely good at it. Uh, Call of Duty, which we'll be talking about also in our topics because of league play and stuff. I just watched this man drop a 50 bomb live. 55 on a hard point, man. Just don't mess with me. Just don't mess with me. I'm nuts. Uh, Sea of Thieves we played, and obviously like I talked about it I think one or two podcasts ago. Uh, that they were coming out with the new season and all sorts of stuff. And to be honest with you, that game is the only game that I've played that every single update makes the game better and never makes it worse. So, I mean, how can you really mess it up too bad? But um, that game's just amazing. They do such a great job at that studio of keeping things alive and everything. So, shout out to Sea of Thieves. You guys are great. I have so much fun with that. So yeah, that's it for me. Nick, you're up to bat. Well, uh, the drink of the week. You ready for this one? I am, I am. We got a blueberry oat protein shake. Oh, oh my goodness. It's delicious, aren't it? I love that. And I yeah. also have my, my, you know, my uh, my Yeti of water. Yes, of course. Of course. Uh, get, get, uh, John, I'm back on Tarkov. I'm back on Tarkov bad. Oh, yeah. So, uh, a little, right. little background story. Before I, uh, I factory reset my computer recently, and it would take me like eight to nine minutes to get into a Tarkov raid, so I stopped playing it because everyone got in like seven minutes before me. After I factory reset it, I get in on, I get in on time. Me and Johnny convinced two of our friends to buy the game. We just been, we've been playing a lot of Tarkov. And let me tell you, John, 
It's the most immersive game I've ever played. Honestly, I've thought about getting it, and then you keep telling me that I gotta go buy it from a Russian website, and it sketches me out a little bit. Hey, dude, it's fine. But the Russian, not that there's anything wrong with Russians. Listen, John, all I'm saying is, if you own the game, not only do you get all the ex- stuff you know they give you, but you get into the exclusive club, the uh, Good Russian Bears Discord. Just saying. We just made a Tarkov Discord so we can hide from people. Oh, I love that. So, that you know, buy sense. the game, join the Discord, you could be a good Russian bear, John. Uh, that, yeah, maybe, maybe you have to. What else do you play besides then, League? Uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the good. League is all I played this week. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I play anything else? Let's really think about it. Let's really think about it. No, I don't. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play Valorant. I didn't play COD. No, yeah, no. Uh, my uh, I coach a basketball team. We are four and zero, haven't lost. We Let's go three, for the kids. For the kids, we got three, two thirty point wins, one twenty point win, and then one two four point wins. You know, we had one yeah. close game, but nice. we just we just we 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 murdered. Mix off for the all kids. Right? Mix off for the kids. Yeah, we, we're great. You know, volunteer work free. You know, I'm just out there coaching the next generation of basketballers. For sure. And today, the fun fact of the week oh. from Nick Connect. He was excited to tell me this. Are you, are you, are you ready to get really wholesome and just kind of like, aw? Yeah. Definitely. So we're going to talk about squirrels, John. Okay. So do you know squirrels are responsible for planting thousands of trees every year? You want to know why? When we dig deep, I researched. I, fit, I read the fun fact, and then I went more with this one. Okay, okay. John? okay. So the squirrels, what they do is... You know, they're running around being squirrels, right? And they dig and hide their acorns in the ground, you know, just like a dog would hide a bone. Right. And simply off them forgetting about their acorns, thousands of trees grow from those acorns every year. But go squirrels. squirrels. Go squirrels. Squirrels, squirrels being dumb and forgetful helps the earth. Helping us breathe, man. Love you. Love you, squirrels. Squirrels give us thousands of... O2 generators a year, man. Just squirrel saying. preservation. Honestly, I used to, I hunted squirrels once with my uncle. Now you regret I'm so, it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, moving on to the first topic because the other couple are going to take up a lot of time. So cause I'm assuming mm-hmm. there's going to be some good discussion here. So topic number one, one that I'm excited to talk about. Uh, one of my buddies in Witch Doctor uh, is helping with a new game called Eggie's World. And all the information for everything, the links to play the game, everything like that will be down below in the description. I urge you guys to go play it. Enjoy yourselves. It's honestly a fun time. Uh, I've been informed that it, uh, because it's a beta, there's not really... It, I think it's like... It feels like more of like a pre-beta beta. Um... So, like, not really quite an alpha, because, like, the build's pretty good and well done, but, like, it's missing some things, but that's, like, the whole point of the beta, right? Uh, so, I- I- I'll tell you, I'll talk to you guys on how to play the game a little bit, uh, and, uh, yeah. And, uh, what to do with everything. So, me, Johnny, Jacob, there was a few others. No, I think that was just, it was just us three. Uh, we were all playing this weekend, we started a clan in side the game called the sniped cast so if you guys hop on the game and you get on your dashboard and you're looking to join a clan tweet me and i'll dm you back a link or a code to join the uh the snipe cast uh clan. join the army join the army we're trying to we're trying to hit number one we almost hit it last week uh so yeah join the army so uh, yeah, so basically easiest way to explain it, it's relatively like Pokemon without typings. Uh, so like obviously like there's no uh, wind or uh, fire, grass, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, each each monster does have uh, different abilities that you can put on it. Like mine right now I have the needle on it, which allows me to do a certain amount of percent through the other monster's armor. And considering that pretty much everybody is rocking armor right now, uh, because everybody's new to the game, it kind of just destroys everything. It's amazing. Um, so, uh, and then our armor, and there's a few others here and there that allow you to uh, get different abilities on your monster. 
Uh, there's there's five attacks that you're allowed to have on each monster. Each does a certain amount of damage. Uh, stab moves, it seems like, are a real thing. Uh, and then also you build up your bar to get a super attack. Now, uh, I've been informed by a few friends, and while uh, playing the game, uh, I noticed that some people did not understand how to attack off the start, which is cool. There's yeah, not really a tutorial. Why are you talking to me? How about me? Well, like, pretty much everybody, like Johnny and Jacob also had the issue. I, I just sat there this morning, and I was going, dude, what? dude, dude he's, he's kicking my ass. What, Dude, I can't fight back. Yeah, no, there's a I'll yeah, there's a, there's a way to actually fight the uh fight the person. I know now, so I'll give it a you know second attempt for me. You good? It's fun. It's a good time. Um, basically, you swipe up and then you swipe left or right to uh to find out which move you want to use. I think it's best played. The game itself is best played on cell phone because it actually fits the cell phone screen perfectly and everything. And then they have an, a separate dashboard page where you join clans, uh, upgrade your monster, which you can do from uh, the regular link uh, off your phone. Uh, but also, mm, excuse me, uh, they have a marketplace on there where you can buy, sell monsters uh, and items as well. Uh, yeah, it's fun. I enjoyed myself all week, really. I, I honestly have been relatively addicted to it. I have played it a whole lot. Um, Oh, yeah, and something else I missed that I have in my notes. They have a sudden death feature in the game, which I think is sweet. Uh, because it prevents the fights going on too long. So each, at the end, when sudden death starts, it feels like it's five rounds in, but I'm not exactly sure the exact amount in that it is. Could be a time thing, I'm not really sure. Um, so once you get that certain point in, uh, you have sudden death, and when you do an attack, it does a little bit more damage than the attack normally would. And then on top of that, it does damage to yourself, uh, kind of to basically speed up the game um, and get it moving a little bit so you can move on to the next and so on and so forth. It's good. It's a good game. I enjoyed it. Uh, the only critiques that I really have about it right now is uh, the tutorial thing for new players. Um but oh, obviously yeah, that'll that would help. <laughs> that would that would that would help a little bit. Uh, and, and I, I think I I don't know what their plans are besides that. Uh, right now it's in a browser, which is like cool and it makes sense and like it works and all. I don't know. I'm sure. Uh, I it feels like at some point they're planning on this being like a cell phone app, but uh, yeah. I'm not really. Oh sure. yeah. The vibes I got from just like looking at the game was like if this was just you know. Yeah, I could see this just popping up on the Apple App Store. I really could a little too. bit of a little, little bit of like uh, help to the interface. I mean, it could it could be an app. For it, sure. it it was fun. I enjoyed it. I think this could be a pretty cool game. So, uh, it's stamped with the uh, Snipecast approval, uh, and I'm excited to see what comes of it. Uh, I already it was in talks with the uh, developers of the game and stuff, and we're gonna get them on at some point on the podcast when they actually release some more stuff. So hopefully that comes up in the next couple months or so. Interview, interview. interviewing mode engaged, John. I'm pumped. Yeah, no, that'll be cool. So shout out to you guys. I'll have all their links to their Twitter, to the game links for the actual game and the dashboard, all on down in the description down below. Uh, on their Twitter, they have a few extra tutorials on how to play the game and stuff like that. They're definitely well overqualified in comparison to myself, considering that they make the damn thing. So go check them out. That's all down in the description down below. Perfect. Moving on. Topic number two. Here we go. Tom Brady, the person that I said in week one of the podcast, you do not ever, ever, ever bet against Tom Brady. Ever. We, uh, we both called the Bucks to win, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it, well, maybe I don't know. I I think I think I, I know. Did, I said but. I think I go was like in between, but yeah, go Bucks. You know, I mean, oh, listen. Oh wait, oh wrong. wrong so I, I, um, I wanted to share a funny tweet that I saw. Okay, land on me. Land Tw- on Twitter, me. by the way, super the Super Bowl was amazing just because of Twitter afterwards. Twitter made the Super Bowl amazing. I'm about to say the Super Bowl was not fun at all. No. <laughs> You're about to say that. No, Twitter because because the halftime show was trash. The Super Bowl was boring. Um. So this tweet, this guy comes out, and he's like, the reason why um, the Chiefs lost, Patrick Mahomes, and it, like ink all caps, and then he says, that's it. And somebody 
uh, responded to it with, what the heck did you want the guy to do? He was running away like it was Temple Run the entire game. <laughs> Which in itself is funny, but then that the guy from the original tweet decides that he's going to respond to this. Oh, yeah. And he responds with, so did Russell Wilson. And the guy, the guy who said the temple run thing goes, Russell Wilson didn't make the fucking playoffs. So that's my favorite tweet. Solid. R.I.P. Russell Wilson. Let Russ cook died. Get Russ out of the kitchen. Oh, man. Yeah, no, Solid I mean, stuff. What a, what a game, man. I mean, just Christ. It looked like it was going to be a good game, too, you know, like. Like the the first the start of the game was awesome, you know, two, uh, a three two three and outs by Tampa, and then Tampa Tampa Bay's defense was just oh I mean, listen, back uh, I'll, let's let's bring this back maybe like five five years okay we're gonna bring this back a little flashback one day. Um, I was definitely one of those irrational Tom Brady haters. We all know him. Every fan yeah. group's got him. I had one, and I, I go this guy's a system QB. He's not good, you know. Then he comes in, in his old age. Oh. His defense is carrying him to championships. And then, you know, I, I just kind of came to a point where you just got to give it up and respect greatness. You know, Tom Brady is going to be out of the league soon. Respect it while you can. Uh, this man went to Florida, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it's not like, oh, he went to a good stack team. No, he went to a team that was terrible. He brought like four players over with them, and they were the only players to score in the Super Bowl. Him, Gronk, A.B., and I think Leonard Fournette got a touchdown or someone which, else. Which, that... by the way, everybody thought that, like, A.B. was going to be terrible. They, uh, actually, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the the staff even came out and said that A.B. does not belong in the locker room. And Tom Brady came straight out and said, yes, he no, does. I love this guy. I love, I love this, this guy. guy. And not only do I love him enough to, to put my name out there on the line, I'm going to let him come and live with me this season. Get him underneath his feet. And get him rocking and rolling again. Can we talk about, you know, Grunk comes back, right? Yeah. Everyone's like, ah, oh, this this is just Grunk, you know, being Grunk, doing yeah. Grunk things. I mean, he had a terrible season. Like, not a good season to Grunk standards. Like, he just True. was just there. And then he comes out in the freaking Super Bowl. And two he tutties. gets two touchdowns. That's two the most tutties. Grunk thing. Most drunk thing you've ever heard, yeah, right? Yeah. He spends, he retires, spends a year partying. He comes back to the league, and when he comes back, the Buccaneers asked him to every day send him videos of him doing workouts. So on Monday, he would do seven different workouts and seven different shirts and record them all and send them to them throughout the week so he didn't have to do them the whole week. And then this man comes in gross <laughs> fashion, two touchdowns in the Super Bowl. Uh, can we uh, quick shout out to Gronk and the and Brady, the best as of the, on the stat sheet in playoff history duo to do it in the playoffs? Shout out because they uh, they beat the record for uh, for most touchdowns in a, from a single duo in the playoffs. I know. I can't so wait congratulations! The, uh, I can't wait for it to be Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb though. Yeah, yeah, me too. Baker would have won that game. Just saying. Ooh. Browns would have won that game. I don't know, man. No, no, no. I guess no. I guess it's more possible because, like, if, if – okay, if Tampa played the exact same defense, then yes. Because the only way to to beat that team in the coverage that they were playing, because they were playing cover two all day. Nick Chubb down their throat. Yep, they were playing cover two all day. I think, like, Tony Romo said they ran two, like, actual blitz plays, which, whatever. Like, God, they obviously Romo. played – they they obviously play like cover two contain, which like people consider some sort of a blitz, but it's not actually a blitz play. It's still cover two. But yeah, like cover two, the only way to beat it, run the ball. Run the ball all day, and Nick Chubb would have ran it all over their foreheads. But I I don't think Tampa would have played the exact same way. Uh they they would have gone back to their old habits, blitzing the ball, you know. The, the the real MVP of that game really is uh is the refs and uh the defensive coach. I mean, really. Though. I mean, you, I don't think you can blame the whole game on the refs. Oh no, like, no, not the close, whole game. It, no, not if, the it was, if it was if it was a close game, I could see it. But like the people that are like, oh, Tom Brady got belt. Shut, shut up. No, 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 he didn't. Oh, you want you want to know who Tampa needs to go out and thank? They need they need to go out and thank uh the wide receiver. The wide receivers that dropped the ball twice. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was bad. Like, listen, Patty M is sitting there, freaking horizontal to the damn ground, lobs the ball, and the guy lets it hit him in the face. I don't remember who the hell that was, but Jesus Christ, man! Like when when you put up nine points in the Super Bowl, you can't sit there and blame the you can't blame the refs. You you you, you suck. Yeah, like And, and. and, uh, Tom Brady threw three touchdowns in the Super Bowl. He's not to blame. He's not no, to. Huh? He didn't get. He didn't get bailed out. It's true. He's the goat. Get over it. I'm sorry. He might not be the most talented of all time, but he's the greatest. I, I I will say like, so like some of the calls were a little like. I don't think I think those are like regular season calls, not like we're in the freaking Super Bowl and we're about to give Tom Brady a first down in the fucking red zone kind of calls. You know what I mean? Like, the, the one play uh, where he was throwing to the complete opposite freaking person, they called a pass interference, uh, on somebody who wasn't really even involved in the play. Like, stuff like that, that gets called in the regular season. But, like, postseason, that stuff kind of doesn't really get called. Um, so, like, but, I mean, they, they it seemed like the refs had a chip on their shoulders, so they felt like they needed to call everything, which is fair. I mean, like I said, like, the call still would have been good in, like, non-playoff standards. But I think, like, when it comes down to sports, like I know for hockey, like if, if if it doesn't, if the play, if there's a penalty behind the play or it doesn't affect the actual movement of the game or a goal could have been scored or whatever, they're not calling it. It's not being called because they want to see five on five hockey. They want to see everybody at full strength because that not only makes the game better to watch, but it also makes it more competitive. So, you know, like in the first half, there was four first downs called off of penalties. And, like, mm-hmm. half of that is really on, you know, uh, Kansas City. Like, you probably should buckle up. You know what I mean? On third down, you, you should buckle up a little bit. Um, but, like, you know, like the one that I mentioned, that, that one didn't really need to be called, I don't think. You gave Tom Brady – I mean – I don't want to take anything away from the end of the day. Even if that call didn't stand, the Chiefs still would have lost it. Yeah, no, probably. No, definitely, actually, because they they really didn't have an answer uh, for Tampa Bay's defense. I mean, they really came out and just played uh, cover two and said, "You know what? You guys want to you guys want to throw the ball long? Sounds good. We're gonna put two on your best two players. Good luck passing." If I told you last week on the podcast, I go, John. Patrick Mahomes is throwing zero touchdowns and two interceptions in the Super Bowl game. Are you telling me just to get off your screen? You're telling me just get, go away? Oh, no, yeah, I'm telling you you're bullshit. Yeah, no. Mr. $500 million man gets to the Super Bowl and throws some donuts. I don't think it's his fault, though. I mean, no. The offensive line with the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, no, it, it, like, okay, yeah. So, like, we could talk about that really quick. Like, he was obviously injured the entire game. Like he had he, yeah, his first he off his first run, after that he limped the rest of the game. So like the guy was obviously he's injured. Having surgery, he's having surgery right now. Right on his toe. Yeah, turf toe. Um, his wide receivers didn't do him any favors. Uh, they let the ball hit their face a few times. That was uh really comical to watch, but not in a Super Bowl setting. Um, his offensive line was in shambles. Uh, I don't really think his offensive coordinator really did him uh, justice. They should have ran the ball a few more times uh, to maybe uh, split that defense up and make them think a little bit harder. Yeah, they had, they had Clyde Harris and Le'Veon Bell, and they didn't even, like, utilize them. Yep. Yeah, just uh, yeah, know, bad calling. I understand he's struggling, you know, after his whole, like, year of sitting out, and he hasn't been the same since, but God, he's still Le'Veon Bell. Give him the ball and let him yep. eat. Oh uh, yeah, the buck, uh, not the bucks. The the Chiefs suck. Um, so wow, you know, <laughs> wow. I'm just bitter. It should have been the Browns. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Should have been the Browns, man. I, 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 I they, laughed. Might have, they might have lost, but they would have. Baker would have thrown a touchdown. I, I laughed at uh, Chiefs fans complaining about the refs, um, because as a Browns fan, I'm sitting over here like, yeah, we hear you, dude. Like, how do you think you got there? You know. Okay, maybe not how you think you got there, but like I'm a bitter Browns fan that lost because of a few bad ref calls. Um, but I mean, like, listen, like refs are part of the game and they're not going anywhere. Um, can't really blame it all, like you said, that you can't really blame it everything on the refs. No, they, they this game they should have came out of the tunnel at half and said, 
we did something wrong here, right? Or excuse me, gone into the tunnel at half and said, as coaches should have said, we are doing something wrong here. We can't get the ball in our stars' hands. Patty is literally running for his freaking life right now. So, like, obviously the offensive line, which we can't fix at this moment in time, is struggling. We need to run the ball a little bit. We need to split yeah. this defense up. We need to change things here. And, and they, We need to make them second-guess their coverage. Right. It, the, and all they did was make sure that Tampa knew that they were worried. Literally, right off the get-go, they knew that they were worried. I mean, and then even before the half, you know, we're, we're calling, what is Tom Brady's signature move in Tampa? At the, end of the, at the end of the half, throw the ball long. What's the worst that can happen? He gets picked for a pick six. They, they were in the lead. They didn't care. What does he do? Throws the ball long. After two timeouts were called by, the, by Kansas City. What are you calling those timeouts for? I get it. You want to get it. I, right. You're giving you're giving the six time at the time Super Bowl champion time to think. Tom Brady doesn't make those mistakes. Tom Brady doesn't go out there and give the ball away. He's not that quarterback. Aside from his first two possessions and three and outs, but regardless, he's gonna make the he's if anything, he's gonna punt the ball. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. And you know, they play bad and they're just looking at the refs, and this is the way I see it. If it's a close game, I get it, but like I'm gonna bring this back to uh, some some uh, Nick Connect basketball, right? So uh, in our game, we won 43 to 13. Uh, they had eight points. The other team at the end of the first quarter, it was nine, 18 to nine. We had the 18, so they had nine points at the end of the first quarter and 13 points at the end of the game. Damn. And they scored two points in the second half. Yeah. And after the game, I just hear their players like complaining about the refs, and I go, dude. You scored you scored once in two quarters of basketball. It's not the ref's fault. <laughs> yeah, no, that's bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah you know, I, that's I preach terrible. defense. I preach defense to my boys. We, we got straight. clamps. Damn straight, clamps engaged. Clamps. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, moving on here. Uh, let me read this off of the sheet so I don't mess this up. You ready? Mm-hmm. Tom Brady, as of Sunday night, the seven-time champ has joined the elite of the elite in the GOAT discussion that previously was only occupied by one other player. Only one other player has achieved this feat. LeBron? He's done done it three times. Tom Brady was able to decide, I'm done here with the Pats. I'm done here. I'm going to go to a different team. And I'm going to change the culture around the city from being a losing culture and a losing team to a winning team in that same year going to the playoffs and not only winning the playoffs but destroying the $500, $500 million man, the, the, probably somebody who will be in the GOAT discussion in 10 years' time. Tom Brady does something that players like Gretzky, who left to a different team, couldn't even come close to. Not even remotely close. The guy went to the playoffs and got I, destroyed. I, I I see your last point here, and I'm just gonna. Jordan didn't leave to go win, dude. Uh, I'm uh, not gonna. But he still left. Yeah, but okay. I'm just saying. He left, yes, but Jordan's not to go. The not to go discussion. Win. Jordan went to a bad team just because he got a lot of money. Yes, fair. Career. But a great player probably would be able to change the culture. Granted. Jordan was like 40 years old at the time, and apparently yeah, we basketball is different than football. Yeah, right. The fact that, you know, you 52 players to five. On the I get it. Well, I know. So, I have him in there, but we can take him out if we want. Like, apparently, like, this is something that, like, basketball players don't talk about is Jordan's last two years, so that's cool. Whatever. We'll just take him yeah, out. There. Wizard years didn't happen, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that, that's what I heard. I, I don't know. We'll see. The only poetic thing about Jordan going to the Wizards was he retired at the end of the 2002-2003 season, and LeBron James was drafted that summer. Jordan left LeBron game instantaneously. And then I have here Brett Favre. <laughs> Brett Favre tried so many times. <laughs> and hey, Brett Favre was a great quarterback. But Tom oh, Brady yeah. said, you know what? I'm going to Tampa. I'm going to change the culture. 
I'm going to go out here and I'm going to win these guys a championship because they deserve it. Go ahead. LeBron did it three times. LeBron did it three times, correct. I agree. Yeah. But I'm Le- just... Left, left Cleveland, brought two to Miami. Yep. Left Miami, brought but, one to Cleveland. Yep. Left and Cleveland, left. brought one to yep. L.A. Yep. That's the real GOAT. Yeah, but like I'm saying, like he's in that now discussion. You know what I mean? Seven championship rings... He was, he's able to do something that LeBron did by changing cultures in different sports. I mean, shit, bringing a championship to Cleveland is something new that none of us expected in our lifetime, to be completely fairly honest. And the Indians almost did it, and then they blew through on lead. Yeah, I know. I, uh, yeah, I know. Sad. Tom Brady, man, congratulations. Uh, you are now in the elite of the elite, as if you weren't already, but now you really are. Seven rings. I actually, I did. I saw this TikTok, and God, I wish I could like find it again. So I, this guy broke down that how if you broke Tom Brady's career down to three different time frames, like he had three Hall of Fame careers. Like wow. if you like broke it down, to, like you put this year, this year through the, them, and then you pick this year, this year through all of them, and then this year, this year he had like you know this year this many Pro Bowls, this many Super Bowl wins, this many appearances, this year this many MVPs, this many this, this many that, and he goes. Those three stents are better than any NFL player's say, like full career resume of all time. Yep. The guy's the goat, man. Yeah. He's the... Now, so one discussion that's been happening around uh, the football world with all this, uh, will Patrick Mahomes ever be able to catch up to Tom Brady now? It's going to uh, be hard. I think it will be hard. Uh, in in realistic fashion, now technically Patrick Mahomes is gonna is gonna have to go to eight more Super Bowls and be flawless. But let's not forget, Patrick just played his third season in the NFL, right? Was it third? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the fourth fourth season in the NFL, and he's already been to two Super Bowls. Third season of actually playing his rookie okay. season, he was. Some- gotcha. So, I mean. Is it really too hard to think that Patrick Mahomes can make eight more Super Bowls at the very least? Yeah, I think no. could, but I think it's going to be at this point because like something we don't have with LeBron and Jordan when you go with that goat conversation is oh you know they never met in the finals they never met in the game right. they never played at the same time but now like Patrick Mahomes can finish his career with eight Super Bowl wins it'd be but like, it doesn't matter because it's discredited but it'd be like hey look you the person you're arguing with you lost to at the end of his career like. It's going to be hard. Patrick's going to have to do some crazy stuff. Yep. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 unless they meet next year. and Which is which is, which is very possible. I mean, both teams seem fairly dominant. Um, and and I, I don't know. I don't really think Tampa's really changing very much. After the Browns trade for J.J. Watt, they'll be in the Super Bowl. It's fun. Is that what's mani- happening right now? I'm manifesting this. It's been a it's been a rumor that a Najoku and pick package for JJ Watt could happen. Like no verified sources, just like like Rumors. local Cle- local Cleveland people on Twitter, like Cleveland reporters. Yeah, but I'm manifesting this, John. It's happening. I mean, that's we're gonna fair. have Miles Garrett and JJ Watt on opposite sides of the line, rushing quarterbacks. Manifesting it. It's over. I mean, that's I mean, what, that's what quarterback fairly possible. Safe? What quarterback is safe? None, 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 none. Do you know how many quarterbacks the Browns are going to injure if they get J.J. Watt? Oh, yeah, frick. We're going to ruin so many careers because you're going to get sandwiched in between these not that Not that we want that to happen, by the way. We don't want people no, getting no, injured. No, we never want to no, see that. No, no, we never want to see a player's uh, career ended. It's Mason Rudolph. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, hey, it's it's fairly possible. I think the Browns need to uh, look at their roster. I mean, we have a lot of tight ends right now. Um, we shipped Najoku because he already requested a trade last year. And Brian, our rookie, well, I guess sophomore now, and Hooper are better. Honestly, I liked Bryant. I thought he was a cool dude. I, he Bryant seemed like he wants to play. Yeah. And he, he's good. We, we just, we, we yeet Odell for defensive help. Yep. We stack the defense. Because there's been so many times this season where we put up 30-plus points and loss. It's like, you, how can you blame Baker for that? Baker threw, like, three touch. We make it so no one scored 45 on us again at the Ravens. So do you think that 
if Houston trades to get Odell and Njoku, right? Which definitely probably wouldn't happen. I doubt it, right? Like that's. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't think it would be both of them in a package. So one or I the think, other. I think it'd be. I don't think they want Odell. I don't think it. I think they want. If they wanted, they want Njoku, a nice young tight end. Because if you're if you're if you're Houston, you're not looking for Odell. Because you are. If you're trading JJ, you're trading. You're trading Watson. You're full rebuilding. There's no reason to have Odell there. Okay. It'd just be a waste of money and a gotcha. diva right, on gotcha. a losing team. You'd that makes sense. If he was there. I was I was thinking because Deshaun Watson's still on the team as of now, and yeah, he requested a trade, but like, does he change his mind if he gets like Odell, like somebody that he could pass to? I don't think so. I think it's like a like a really like broken bond between player and front office that I, I okay. I think they I think they could bring him like Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, and freaking Jerome Bettis in their primes, and he'd be like, get me out of here. Okay. Yeah, that, I mean, like, because I, sometimes, like, stuff like that gets fixed by new players added. You know what I mean? Like, you, everybody has, like, that honeymoon stage. Well, yeah, uh, that actually, that almost happened to, um, uh, let's see, what was the year? Uh, Kobe wanted out of L.A., and he requested a trade, and L.A. said, we're, we're not, we're not trading you. Like you know, we're gonna we're gonna stick this out. We're gonna stick this through, and then they made that uh, trade for Pau Gasol, and then him and Pau won two championships. Sorry, my bunny was going at my. Uh, computer. Good. She's doing it again. That's it. Just bring the money to the pod. I thought about it. Uh yeah no I mean that would be cool I guess uh so we have here uh Call of Duty. For our next topic. So, Call of Duty this week uh, released a new patch note. The new season comes out at the end of the month. Um, and that's on me because I said uh, last week that it was coming out this week. I didn't realize that they were talking about just League Play and Express. But obviously, as I just said, League Play comes out came out this week, this past week, and also Express. I have played a lot of Call of Duty in the past two days. I have I still have not played on Express yet because I've been playing League Play because I think it's more fun. Is Express not in League Play? Uh, it is in League Play. I'm pretty sure, but I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, you said you haven't like played like they have. I assume they have a 24 hour Express. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Dude, knock it off. What the heck are you doing, bro? Mary, J- J- MJ, dude, let, let me talk to her. Bring, bring her up to bring her, bring her up to them. This is the Nick Bunny session. Bring her up to the camera. I'm going to ask her what she's doing. Come here. What are you doing? What's up with you today? Why are you being cranky? John is having she's funny cranky. issues. She's cranky, I don't know. Uh, Yeah, no, I, I played League Play a lot. She didn't get her cup of coffee this morning. She's having a rough morning. The cup of coffee. <laughs> she did, the bunny needs the cup of coffee. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, seriously, I, I, I love League Play. I think it's more fun. Because you get players in your skill level, um, and it's not like the broken skill base that skill base is right now. Because, like, I was a lot better, I don't know, like, three, four years, well, shit, from Ghost on. And then I stopped playing COD, and I got older, and my reflexes slowed a little bit at the time. So, I'm not as good as, say, when I was playing in Ghost and dropping nukes. Or atom bombs or whatever the hell they called it in that game. I think you know they were, weren't they called like didn't it start with a K or was that Modern Warfare three? Uh, deatomizer bomb. No, that's IW. I got it. I got it. Research guy, you know me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what were yeah, like I'm a lot worse than I was back then. Like, can we can we like have a reset on skill base? I don't believe. Uh, they were. Oh, I was right. I'm literally smart. It was a KEM, the Kinetic Energy Missile. Gotcha. Yep. I knew it over the K. <laughs> That's why I'm here. But yeah, no, like I'm a lot worse than I was then. I am not that good anymore. Um, and I'm comfortable with it. Yeah, I dropped the 55 kill game just before the podcast. Yeah, the AK is broken, and that's what I was using. But like. Come on, man. You know, like, skill base is just not fun right not now. Fun. So, uh, I, I'm having a lot more fun on the game playing League Play. I stopped playing the game a little bit because I was just... 
I was just tired of playing like S and D and actually having to try and um, like because like when I play pubs, I don't really want to try. Nobody does, right? Like, no, yeah, just wants we, to go we, when we get search lobbies going, we just run snipers and shotguns, but we still normally win. When we get, that's when true. We have when we have that full lobby going, bro. We we hardly lose. That's it's true. Purely because Alex is correct. Well, I am not nearly as good as, like, any of you guys. I know, but it's so. just, you watch Alex just drop 25 kills with a sniper. You're just like, dude, dude, dude I'm telling you, this kid, this kid sweats in every video game we've played. He really does. I, I, we and play now you guys Minecraft. got him in the league? Good luck, dude. We got him in the league? What are you talking about? Hey, he was playing league the other day. Yeah, oh, yeah, he was doing the tutorial. I don't think he's actually played the league. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he was sitting there, and no one wanted to play, like, I think people were on the hardcore Minecraft server, which uh, we we started a hardcore Minecraft server. I, I saw this. Uh, so about fifteen minutes in, so we started with five people. There's two people were mating. Oh, six people. There's three people were mating. Uh, so uh, Jack died about 10, 15 minutes in to a creeper. Um, about a couple oh, days, no. a couple days later, I, I'm I, I'm looking for a village so I can get bookcases, right? And I. We, we disconnect get off the server for the night. I come back the next day, and I have no clue where I'm at. And I start moving left, right, backwards. And I, I think I just I completely lost where uh, where my base was at. So I was like, all right. Johnny goes, do you want me to give you the cords so you can find the base? And I go, listen here, man. Uh, this is hardcore Minecraft. I don't want the cords. I'm going to find this base on my own. So I'm just sitting there. I'm walking around, jumping through Minecraft. I'm just scrolling through TikTok with my mic muted, right? And then I look up. I'm falling down a freaking ravine. And I just, I unmute my mic and slam down. And Johnny goes, what happened? And I go, I fell in a ravine. And then all you see is dies from fall damage. I'm dead. And then Alex blew up to a creeper the other day. So three remaining out of the six that started a week into the server. It's embarrassing. Damn. <laughs> this escalated. Yeah, I was so sad. So you know that's, that's is this like I guess goal, I play Minecraft. So the goal like, of a hardcore Minecraft server is to get to the Ender Dragon win. Yeah, it's beat the game without dying. Because if you okay. die, you you can't physically respawn. Your only option is to spectate the the server. And I'm assuming on hardcore mode, right? Like, is that what it is? Is it hard mode or whatever? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So. Cool. I uh I, I'll join the next one. I might as well. I Season two. Game. Season two. It's a great game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, facts. It's a great game. Uh, but yeah, COD. Back to it. I uh, I, I enjoyed the play this week. I think it was good. It's a good sense of change. Um, I don't know. I think league play is what what everybody needed. Everybody's been asking for it since the game came out. And now that the CDL starts this weekend, what better time or well Thursday to be more specific? But what better time to do it? So. Mm -hmm. Good on you guys, Cod. Good on you, Vaughn. Uh, Vaughn came out and said this week, uh, well, not this week. Yeah, I think it was this week. He uh, said uh, skill-based matchmaking is going nowhere. So that's cool. So hopefully that means the next Cod doesn't have it. Uh, no, it's, it's not going anywhere. Oh, not going anywhere. I thought, like, the way you said it made it sound like, oh, yeah, this, okay. I, I no, it's not going know. anywhere. It's going absolutely nowhere. Skill base will be nice. forever a thing, which sucks. But hey, you know, it is what, what it is. Happens. All right, now my bunny's eating the avocado. Nice. Joy. There we go. She's so little, five months old, man. I can't believe it. I uh, oh okay. girl, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I I I got her. Well, we we always had Lily, so like you know, like Lily's are the older bunny. And uh, I wanted a new one because, you know, I just wanted a friend. One that I could name what I wanted to name her. And we we went to the store and we found this little munchkin. And uh, we didn't think we were going to get her. And I, then I ended up walking around with her the entire time. Don't be a smart ass. Hey. Just trying to get back at my cords. Uh, and then, um, so yeah, so I named her Mara. Mara Jade Novak from... Uh, Star Wars, Mar Jade. It's cool. I love pets, man. You got a cute little dog at home. Little I puppers. Missy, I get Missy cameo right now. All right, let's see it. Hit me with the Missy oh, she's cameo. Bad, right? She's in my bed. The little pit wasn't me mad. I picked her up.
Yeah, man, pets are great. They're a good time. They're a lot of work. Oh, welcome. Oh, oh, this oh, is oh, oh. Yes, a little baby. A little yeah, baby. Out of the baby. Hi. Hello. Hello. I love yes. pets, man. They're just like, like the better versions of us, you know? I lay you down. There you go. You're being a brat. You can go back and lay in the bed now. There she goes. And she's gone, John. <laughs> Love that. She is quick and easy. She's back. She's already wait. She's back in the bed. <laughs> I think I think Mara needs a timeout. So you just want to give me a minute here. She, entertain the people. Oh, people, people. Hello. Um, welcome to the uh, Nick Cast episode one, where uh, we talk about life. How's everyone doing? How's your mom? How's your dad? How's your grandparents? Your uncle? Your aunt? Oh hey! All right, she's you in time. Just, uh, you just missed the first episode of the Nick Cast. Oh then, oh wow! How did it go? Yeah, I asked people how their family was doing. <laughs> Such a great their mom, their dad, their aunts, uncles, grandparents, brothers, sisters, whatever it is. Such just a want to make sure they're doing good. So, uh, do. do we have any predictions for uh, next year's uh, next year football? <laughs> we can go extreme, man. We could just say uh, Super, no, Bowl. Super Bowl. Let's just uh, let's get crazy. Where'd he go? He's going to grab his Browns jersey, isn't he? <laughs> that would be solid. Let's see. Did I guess right? Do I know my friend? I do. I do. And I know my friend well. <laughs> I know my friend so well. Purple, what'd you say? He's going to go put his Baker jersey on? I said Browns, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Going to the Super Bowl. Maybe, yeah, maybe, <laughs> man. I mean, it's not it's not outside of impossible, right? I mean, you tell like Ohio. I got my Cleveland jersey on and my, my Ohio State jersey oh, on. Yeah. And then, like, every typical Ohio family, I have a Outer Banks t-shirt on, so... I don't know what that is. It's like a beach in North Carolina. Oh. People go to in Ohio, you know, we go to the beach. Oh, okay. I do not go to our beach. Our beach is disgusting. Well, why would we go to your beach? I said a beach. Okay. Ain't no one wants to go freaking swim in Lake Erie. That sounds disgusting. Dude, Lake Erie got lit up on fire at one point. Dude. Like, no. That's not good. <laughs> that's how polluted it was, bro. That thing's disgusting. That's bad. A Buckeye Lake gives you hep- hepatitis. When you when you go to Buckeye Lake, there's like warning signs. Go, don't swallow the water. It may cause hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you think the Rams are going to be good next year? Uh, I I do I really do I think so. I I think you added a elite defense who are was able to carry a team to a playoffs and to a Super Bowl in the last four years and you add a underrated QB who, who is just another example of someone who wasted their career in Detroit I think Matt Stafford is so good and now he's got weapons he's got a team he's not in Michigan who would want to live in Michigan John no one. Especially Detroit of all places. Oh, definitely. Maybe, not Detroit. maybe if it was like Ann Arbor or like you know up by the sand dunes. There's a lot of pretty places. Yeah, there's some pretty places. Living in Detroit, brother. The, the so only fun. reason why I'd want to be near Detroit is for Hockey Town. But like, if you're not a hockey person, I mean, now he lives in LA. Yeah. Go, Matt. I think Rams will be yeah, good. Yeah, go, Matt. Last year, last year I called Chiefs and Seahawks as the Super Bowl uh, when me and Jacob were doing the Goat Shed podcast. And uh, you know the Seahawks, you know they. they, they at the start of the season, my prediction was looking good. You know, Russ was going crazy. He was. But you ready, Russ was cooking. You ready for my, uh, my prediction this year. If the Browns make the trades, I think they're going to make. I'm calling Browns versus. Let me think of a team in the other. Not the Saints. They're gonna fall off. Who do I? Who do, who do I want to win? Why are they gonna they fall off? Because they lost Drew Brees. They're gonna fall off. But they played just as good without him as they did with him. Yeah, just you know, they, just, they don't got the they don't got the grit anymore. The long longevity. Um, what's uh, and, oh, shit? What's his freaking name? Taysom. Taysom Hill's not gonna start, but yeah. I think that's bullshit. I think he should, but. No, what what was good. the point in starting him last year, right? Like they I feel like the games I, I, I don't five. Think he, he's just not that good. Um, well, I'm calling right now. It's five games. Yes, because his team is good. He was. He's not that good. He's really not that good. Uh, I'm calling it uh, Browns versus the Rams. I'm calling.
called it. Called it. He just said, put it on the Rams. You got to think about that. He literally Googled who's on the AFC. Um, no, a- NFC. NFC. NFC, right. Yeah. I was just looking at the NFC teams. I'm looking. I'm looking. Buccaneers, that's an obvious pick, right? The Seahawks, who freaking knows at this point? The Vikings, no, they who suck. The, Giants, they suck. the Bears, they suck. The Falcons, they suck. The Cardinals, they got Kyler, but they're not going to go to the Super Bowl. Washington football team, they suck. Panthers, they suck. Lions, they suck. Cowboys, they suck. San Fran, they went to the Super Bowl like last year, but injuries. I'm going to say it. Joey Bosa tore his ACL. I mean, Nick Bosa tore his ACL. They suck. The Saints, they're good. Packers, they're good. Green Bay, they're good. And and Rams are going to be good. And I'm just going with the Rams. The NFC sucks, bro. And then let's look at the AFC. You know, after I just bashed all the NFC teams. You know, this is bashing teams with Nick. Kansas City, they're good. Baltimore, they're good. New England, they suck. Colts, they're good. The Raiders, they suck. The Bills, they're good. The Browns, they're good. The Steelers, they're good. The Titans, they're good. The Miami Dolphins are comp. All right. Uh, the ah. Jets, they suck. The Texans, they suck. The Broncos, <laughs> they suck. The Chargers suck. Their the Bengals, suck. So and the Jaguars suck. So, therefore, more teams are good in the AFC than the NFC. No, the Jaguars Only- are going to be amazing next year. They're getting Trevor Lawrence. No, they suck. Their, their team is terrible. I don't think Trevor Lawrence is going to turn that team around. That team is terrible. Yeah. Name one player on that team right now. No, I can't. Besides Minshew. I was about to say the guy with the cool mustache. <laughs> he had a cool mustache. He did. He did. Yeah, no, no, no. America. Solid mustache. America. America. Yeah, wow, dude. Like, our side of the division is just super stacked. Oh, we, we, uh, we have – I mean, I said the Bengals suck – I'm going to stick to it. They suck. I don't care. Wow. <laughs> they don't make the playoffs because they, they have three. a terrible unless offensive whole, line. Unless our whole division makes the playoffs, which I guess is possible, the Bengals suck. I'm sorry. Joe Burrow, you're good. Your team your team sucks. Your your defense is atrocious. Your offensive line is atrocious. Your wide receiver core is, eh, I mean, like, A.J. Green's not A.J. Green anymore. Joe Mixon's overrated. The Bengals suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. I hate the Bengals almost as much as I hate the Steelers. And now, Ooh, everybody, this good. is jinxing the Browns with Nick. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> uh, 12 wins. 12 wins this season. 12 wins. Uh, yeah. 12. yeah. I was going to do 13. I mean, we made it, well, no, I mean, we made it an 11-5, and five, so. Do it. 14 wins. 14 wins, John. Stop pulling my Stop pulling my arm. What the fuck is happening? Why are you doing this to me? Perfect. Um, so... Every year's better. Is like not Jokic 0 and 16. Is What'd you just say? So Nikolai Jokic is pretty good at basketball. <laughs> yeah, basketball is just not my uh, not my sport, man. I tried to uh, get into it a little bit. I just I can't. So uh, so basically, uh-huh. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this this guy. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a picture, and I want you to tell me. You if got you about think that- three minutes for this to happen. And that is the 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 freaking two minute warning already. Yeah. Okay. I told you, like our topics took up a lot of time today. It did it did? Snapchat's coming in hot. Oh, I gotta check my snap. If I send you this, where, where, where's, your where's your name? Where's your name? Where's your? Oh, you're on my best friends list. There you go. Boom. I want you to tell me if you think that guy's actually like, you know, like a a decent NBA player or not. Yeah, I mean, I've played against him in uh, 2K. Yeah, but like looking at that guy, if you have no knowledge of basketball, would you think, oh, yeah. No, that, that picture, no, that picture makes him That guy is leading like the Kobe. MVP's standing right now. It was Nik- Nikolai Jokic. Nikolai Jokic, he's crazy. LeBron James is having a great year. Yeah, uh, that I did know. KD's back. He's hooping. Uh, Joel Embiid's having a great year. I love <laughs> basketball. Miami Heat look to beat the New York Knicks for the second time in a row tonight. You know, pray for us. Yeah, um, Knicks a Heat's fan. He uh he worship. Oh God, he's going to get his Heat's jersey. Actually, he's going to get his Dwayne Wade Heat's jersey. Actually, my Dwayne Wade jersey is in my room along with all my other Dwayne Wade jerseys and my Bam jersey. But I got this Tyler Hero jersey in my in my office. That's a good looking man. Yes, he is. It's a great hey. looking man. John, I mean, I can go grab my other, like, five jerseys and put them all on. This is so funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Next, just no, change. That's my that's my <laughs> morning for jerseys. <laughs> oh, man, dude. I don't know Nick, how, how Nick does it, but he's great at it. What a solid guy. All right, so. He's got so many jerseys. Oh, my God. So, Wait, this okay. Is, uh, well, okay. This is the 
This is a Dwayne Wade jersey. Okay. Um, no way you get all of these on. Yeah, no, I'm just going to put this one around my neck. Yeah, I was about to I, say, yeah, I, yeah. That's probably a good I idea. Did, uh, the first jersey I ever owned, I bought it in in American Airlines Arena. Okay, put it on. Tie jersey. Okay, put it on. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will. Right now. <laughs> um, okay. All right. um, <laughs> it's one, around his neck again. This one is a, another Dwayne Wade Miami Vice jersey. It's the You're white right, right. one. It's a little dirty. What a cool color scheme, you know? I know. I, there's a p- all pink one that I don't own, and their one this year is pink and blue morphed together. Uh, this one is my um, most recent jersey. Miami Heat's best player, Bam Adebayo. You know the guy. Nice classic red Jumpman jersey. Oh, I think, man. I think they should do that color scheme, like the uh, pink and uh, blue one, uh, as a gradient color. That would be cool. That's what, that's what they have this year. Oh, oh okay. I get it. It's the last year of Miami Vice as well. And this is Alonzo, a throwback, classic hardwood, Alonzo Morning jersey. You know, played on the Heat in the 90s, went to the Eastern Conference Finals, lost It to looks like you just have, like, a giant scarf. These are my oh, jerseys. Miami. <laughs> All right, everybody, and that takes us to the two-minute warning. This is the end of the show. This is where we're going to give all of our plugs in a, in, in a two-minute span. We try to do this at the end of the, sh- at the, end of the uh, video. So we don't bog you guys down with a bunch of BS the entire episode, like us shouting out random things. So here we go, starting in three, two, one. Welcome to the two minute warning, everybody. If you are a gamer and you are looking for for an org to play under, uh, you're a competitive player and you're looking for an org. Witch Doctor GG has your back. Go to Witch Doctor GG on Twitter. Come over and apply for the Shaman Squad. Great community. Hashtag Shaman Squad all the way, right? Uh, also come hang out, uh, during the week sometimes, cause I still, I, ha- I haven't streamed yet this week, but come hang out at twitch.tv backslash snipes underscore us. I've had a busy week this week, uh, with the Oregon stuff. So, and, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Nick, you're up to bat. John, you know how we do the two minute warnings around here. Yep. Bring it in. This, this is a safe place. Okay. This is where we, we, we take two minutes to, you know, get in our Zen, you know? Okay. If you're going through a hard week right now, you know, your your mental your mental, your psyche is at an all time high. Just take a breath. Everything's gonna be okay. I think I said this last week, I'm gonna say it again. You gotta have rainy days to appreciate the sunny ones. Things cannot get better if they're not worse first, so you can appreciate those days. Just remember. Oof. Life comes at you fast. It's got up and downs like a roller coaster. Just take a step back and enjoy it. Bring it in. This is the safe place. Just... You got about 20 more seconds of this. Um, uh, here, let me read a quote. <laughs> uh, um, um, <laughs> mental so... illness is nothing to be ashamed of, but stigmas and bias shame us all. I think we're uh, good. <laughs> uh, Thanks. <laughs> I looked up a quote about mental health, and they're all pretty dark. I couldn't find an inspiration. Uh, uh... Put inspirational in. <laughs> here, I got the <laughs> Two minute warning's right. over. It just finished. You're done. Next week, save it for next week. Thank you, everybody, for joining the Sniped Cast. Make your life like a masterpiece. Imagine no limitations <laughs> on what you can have or do. Boom! There it is. I'm ready to end this now. All righty, uh, everybody. Thank you guys all for watching the Sniped Cast. We post these every single Thursday. Come hang out. Come watch. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that jazz. Nick Connect. What's wrong? I'm laughing. Oh. <laughs> I was just down here laughing. Nick, thanks for joining me again. We'll see you next week. Hopefully, we can uh, get somebody else on the on the pick cast uh, next week. I know we have Johnny who wants to join. Uh, Funk still hasn't joined yet, so we'll have to make this happen. So. All right, gamers, later. <laughs>